The IDF detained five Palestinians for illegal border crossing. The Israeli military says, quote, a number of suspects were identified who had penetrated the territory of a house in the South Hebron Hills. The problem is the suspects were Palestinian children ranging from ages 8 to 13. RT's Paula Sleer has more. Well, earlier this week, the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, detained five Palestinian children between the ages of 8 and 13. They detained them and held them for questioning at a police station in the Kiryat Arba Israeli settlement, which is in the South Hebron Hills. Now, this is a part of the country where there is constant tension and conflict between the Palestinians, the Israeli settlers, and the army. And depending on who you talk to, there's a very different version of events in terms of what happened. We have heard from the settlers that the kids entered the territory of a house in an unrecognized illegal outpost. And the Israeli army statement does seem to corroborate this. They say that there was a number of suspects identified after entering the territory of a house, that an army patrol picked up the children, they were handed over to the police, and the police were then tasked with finding their parents and giving them to their parents. The police themselves issued a statement in which they stressed that none of the children were placed under arrest. They say it took hours to locate some of the parents, although we are hearing a different claim by the father of one of the boys. He says that he was outside the police station the entire time, and he was not allowed to see his son. At the same time, the Israeli media here has been running a number of reports in which they say that the children were stealing parrots from the settlers. Now, there was an eyewitness at the scene, an Israeli activist, who himself says that the children were picking wild fruit that they could eat. A group of settlers, he says, then descended from the hill, and the children ran away. Later in the afternoon, an army patrol came through and picked up the children in one of the unrecognized Palestinian towns. And we do have evidence of this in a video that was released by Betzalem, which is an Israeli human rights organization. And in the video, you can see quite clearly the children being rough-handled, being forcefully pushed into a van. And you can hear people shouting in Hebrew at the soldiers, saying, is this the way you treat your children or the way you treat children? Betzalem itself has issued a statement in which they say that this shows the absolute disregard by Israel for Palestinians, regardless also of their age, because, of course, here we're talking about children. Now, we do know that on Sunday, two of the children, the oldest two, the 12- and 13-year-old, will be appearing again for questioning. The other three have been released, and they'll have no further questions asked. And this is partly because Israeli law stipulates that children under the age of 12 cannot be held criminally liable for their actions. We also are hearing from Defense for Children International, who says that Israel prosecutes between five and 700 Palestinian children in Israeli military courts each year. So what that certainly does suggest is that this incident is not an incident in and of itself, but is rather something that happens quite frequently here in Israel. All right, let's get international perspective from our friend, former UK MP George Galloway. Uh, so, George, these five Palestinian suspects, as they were called in the IDF statement, they were primary school age children who meandered over the border. Why such a response from Israel? Well, uh, first of all, hats off to Beit Salem, the Israeli human rights uh, organization which have uh, brought this footage and the evidence in front of the whole world. Uh, secondly, a number of important words stand out in Paula Slyer's uh, presentation there. The first is the unlawful nature of the settlement in which the carrots or the wild fruit were being grown. I can't believe I'm having to say these words. But even under the laws of the Israeli occupation, this is an illegal, unlawful settlement. So it's doubly unlawful. All the settlements are unlawful. The children were on Palestinian land. The settlers were on illegally occupied land. But even within the terms of the illegal settlement laws of Israel, this was an unlawful settlement. So the people who should have been arrested were the people who were squatting on this Palestinian land instead of the children arrested on camera 
for eating carrots at worst, wild fruit at best. It kind of, as Paula says, sums up the situation in the Palestinian occupied territories. It breaks my heart. I know the area well. I know that settlement well. I know the situation in Hebron well. These children are the same age as some of my children. It literally breaks my heart watching that footage. Yeah, same here, George. It's just, this is not how you treat children. But let me ask you this. What's the difference between how the IDF handled those kids than how the U.S. handles unaccompanied children who cross our southern border? Well, uh, that's, of course, uh, a, a very different matter. They are not being uh, dragged into custody in the case of the children on your border, but the situation on your border is itself uh, a very melancholy one. It's a product of the uh, economic and political system championed by the United States, which has beggared much of Latin America and created conflict situations in much of Latin America, forcing a tide of refugees to head for the U.S. border. Uh, but uh, however bad Donald Trump and Joe Biden treated their children, they don't treat them as badly as Beit Salem and the child rescue agency you just quoted say 700 Palestinian children a year facing trial under military courts. Yeah, absolutely shocking uh, on any front regarding any children. Um, but on the flip side to this, George, Israel does have laws, and too often uh, children are used as sort of IED mules by terror groups, right? We've seen such horrific examples uh, in war zones like Afghanistan. Couldn't that be a valid reason as to why they apprehended these children? Well, the way they were manhandling these children, they plainly did not think they were carrying IEDs. Uh, the children were on their own land, which had been illegally occupied by illegal settlers, who were armed to the teeth, by the way, bristling with weapons, heavy weapons, heavy machine guns, are being routinely deployed and carried by these illegal settlers. As I say, the children were acting lawfully, the settlers unlawfully, but it was the children that the IDF arrested. And on a side note to this, George, um, Benjamin Netanyahu himself has not come out to say anything regarding this incident. He is embarking on his first official state visit to the UAE today. He will meet with the Dubai's Sheikh Mohammed as, you know, the optics for the establishment of diplomatic ties brokered in the Trump administration. How does this relationship impact the region, specifically in Yemen? Speak about a child humanitarian crisis. Well, I wonder if you'll ask Sheikh Mohammed how his daughter is getting on. She, of course, has disappeared uh, and will not be uh, presented even on the demand of the United Nations, which has demanded proof that she's still alive. So it's not the most salubrious company that Mr. Netanyahu is in today, although given the latter uh, is also facing criminal proceedings and possible imprisonment, I guess you could say they deserve each other. Uh, but this is a product of uh, Donald Trump's diplomacy. It has normalized relations, not peace agreements, because they were never at war, but normalized relations with a few of these tiny Gulf states and the state of Israel. I would like to know what the public in the UAE actually think about it. But given that it's not uh, remotely a democracy, there are no votes, elections in the UAE of any kind, we'll never know that. Uh, but the uh, Israelis are obviously making the best of these few friends that they now have in the Arab world, even if they are alleged child kidnappers. Absolutely, George. Well put. Uh, George Galloway, thank you for joining us today.